welcome friends in today's video we learn about micrometer and what is the time and annotation now suppose in your java application there is a rest controller and this rest controller has two api one is of type get and one is of type put and these apis are deployed in production and they are being used extensively means there are thousands and thousands of requests coming to both these apis and now you want to monitor the performance of these apis you want to monitor how many requests per minute per second per hour are these apis receiving and how much time is each of these api taking to process each of the order so you want to monitor the timing the request count and some custom details for example order type or delivery type for each of the transaction so using micrometer it is very simple to do this you simply need to add the timed annotation on the top of both these apis you can give it a value meaning the metric name and you can also add a description explaining the metric name now this metrics can be exported to any of the major monetic platforms like datadog elasticsearch grafana or new relic etc now suppose that we choose new relic so all the metrics will flow from our application to new relic using the public api provided by new relic and in order to call this api we need to pass it the api key which we can get by registering ourselves and creating an account on new relic and once these metrics reach new relic you can visualize these metrics in various forms for example time series form graph form pie chart form in any form you want you can visualize these metrics now suppose it is not the complete api method that you want to track the performance of suppose that your api contains some blocks of lines for example block 1 contains 10 lines block 2 contains another 10 lines and block 3 contains another 10 lines and block 2 is quite business critical and you just want to track the performance of block 2 how many time it's getting called and how much time it is taking to be executed that is also possible using micrometer you simply need to place a timer dot start call before this block and create a timer dot sample object and after this block you need to stop the sample and while stopping you can pass it a meter name as well with which name it will get exported to the visualization tool so these lines will send the metrics only for block 2 to the external visualization tool and you can monitor the performance of this block using these lines of code and not just the metric name you can also pass a list of custom tags in key value form to the external tool using micrometer so this is how a metric exported to new relic looks like it contains the class name and then it has a summary object which tells during a particular duration how many times this method was called which was marked with the time annotation in this case the count is 1 the sum property tells that during this duration for the total number of pounds that it was called what is the time that it took and the max property tells that if there were more than one invocations what was the time taken for the maximum invocation which was the longest invocation which took the most most time and description again is what we passed in the timed and annotation the same de description will show here it will also populate some additional things like from which host this metric has been received it will also track the method name which was annotated with the timed annotation and you know key value whatever tags you pass will populate here as key values and you know it will also contain the time stamp information so to configure new relic in your code you need to create a new relic registry config object which is a simple pojo it contains some config details like prefix api key duration it me duration means that 
it should send a batches of metrics at what duration do you want it to send it every five seconds 15 seconds one minute five minutes 10 minutes you can configure whatever you want and you also need to configure your service name but the most important property here is api key if api key is not correct the sending won't work next we need to configure a new relic registry object and pass our previous config object as a parameter here and when we create a bean of this new relic registry object we pass it the method which is enables it to populate the host name of the operating machine into the host.hostname property and apart from that we need to pass it a thread factory using this thread factory it will create threads to run the exporting of metrics and especially for timed annotation to work you need to create a bean of time timed aspect and you need to pass your registry or new relic registry object into the constructor of the timed aspect and not just the timer micrometer has many components for example it has a count counter it has a gauge it has a long task counter and it also has a function counter for different types of tracking. So a timer is basically used for tracking a large number of short run and running events. A counter is used to track monotonically increasing values. And a gauge is used to track values which may go up and down. And a long task timer is used to track long running tasks. It takes into account the in-flight and the newly started long running tasks that we give it and similarly we have function timer which tracks two monotonically increasing functions one representing the count of events and other representing the total time spent in each event so we can use these components provided by the micrometer api for our monitoring purposes so friends we hope that you would have liked our explanation of the micrometer api if you like this don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel for more such videos and hit the bell icon so that you receive notifications of all, all our videos